hosted in conjunction with Chris Media. The CEO interview series allows investors to hear directly from the CEOs leading the companies featured on Wholesale Investor. Enjoy the interview and reach out via the details in the description. Hi and welcome to another Crisp TV Q&A. Today I'm joined by Corey Russell, COO of Baxter Global. Thank you for joining me, Corey. No worries, thanks for having me. Corey, just to start and give our prospective um, audience a bit of an insight into Baxter, can you give us an overview of the company, who you are exactly? Yeah, for sure. So Baxter is a pet tech app. Um, we help service pet parents um, with connections to their community around them, um, local pet friendly businesses in particular, um, pet events um, and the pet resources that can help them raise their pet from birth to um, the end of their life, I guess. Okay, so there must have been an original motivation to starting this venture. Can you give us the uh, problem you, that was identified in the market? Yeah, for sure. So um, my father, Chris, um, is our founder and um, we got Daisy, who's our pet frog, which is a, pet, a French bulldog pug mix um, in about 2017. Um, and at that stage, we sort of realized that while there was a few things in this sort of industry, there was nothing that tied her whole life together. Um, so. It sort of started with a story. Um, we were going to go to the um, a pet expo at Sydney Olympic Park, and we we're trying to find pet friendly accommodation, and we we're really, really struggling. Um, quite a few things said they were, but you rang up and they weren't. Um, yeah, so we we sort of identified that need in the market at that stage, and then even recently, myself, I've um, gotten a new French bulldog puppy, um, and just even on the weekend, trying to find things to do with him and places that are pet friendly has been quite a a challenge. So we look to sort of fix that. So, so it sounds like the, the data and the information needed is siloed at the moment. Yep. Talk to us about the solution that brings that all together. What have you built at Baxter Global? Yeah, for sure. So our key feature at the moment is um, what's called Discover. Um, and it is a map-based product that brings together pet-friendly businesses. So whether that's hospitality, groomers, um, pet retail, we bring it all together on one map that sort of rates its pet-friendliness. So whether um, a venue has a pet-friendly bowl, a, a pet menu. Um, we give it sort of a scale on our map um, and we bring it to our users so they can find things around them or external if they're going on holidays um, that are pet-friendly. Okay, tell us about the feedback or traction to, from launch. What, what have you seen? What's been the feedback from the market? Give us some... some. Yeah, for sure. So we sort of launched on a social media proposition. Um, so you could post photos, have a profile, a, a Facebook-y style. Um, sort of platform um, and since then we've sort of moved to the more utility value of finding the venues um, but since launch we've got over 25,000 users um, there's been more than 14,000 posts on our platform um, yeah so we're, we're going well 25,000 is great so how what, what was the secret behind getting that way why do you think there was such a large following from the get-go yeah look we've worked really hard on our social media ads, um, our acquisition plays, stuff like that. But I think it's just, there's a big gap in the market for this kind of space, um, especially post COVID. COVID for puppies was huge. I'm sure everyone has sort of heard about the puppy explosion during COVID. Um, so that was, while COVID was hard for us as a business, it sort of exploded our market a little bit. Um, so yeah, I think there's heaps of factors around, in particular COVID, um, bringing a need to the market for this sort of solution. Okay, if we look at it from an investment opportunity sure. standpoint, how do you plan to monetize Baxter? And yeah, so our main monetization strategy is around our listings. So businesses um, can list on our platform in either a free, um, a freemium option from, and then bronze, silver, and gold, which have a different associated pricing, um, yeah, as well as your typical sort of social media um, monetization strategies such as your native ads, etc. Mm -hmm. And in terms of the team, because obviously you guys have launched now, that's about growing and scaling. What's the team behind Baxter and what can they do to help with the scale and growth of the company? Yeah, for sure. We've got a really good team at the moment, um, headed up by our iOS team. Um, we've got some like world-class talent. Our iOS, iOS app is really, really, really good. Um, I invite people to download it, give it a crack. Um, but yeah, our iOS team definitely leads the way in terms of our innovation um, compared to our competitors. <laughs> Frankly, I think we're miles in front um, on iOS in particular. Um, and then we've got some really good sort of product designers. Um, and, and sort of our key is that most of our staff are pet parents. So we're always thinking about the solution to the pet parents at the forefront of anything we do. 
Absolutely. So, you, you mean, you've got the launch, you've got great traction, you've got the technology mindset as well. Um, great feedback. What can we expect in terms of milestones and outlook over the next six to 12 months? What, what goals are you looking to kick? Yeah, for sure. So this month has been big for our Discover feature. We've just relaunched it. Um, in the next few weeks, the um, actual platform for the businesses to be able to pay for their listings um, will be launched. That's probably about two weeks away, which we're excited about. We've got heaps of conversations. Um, so within six months, we're looking to have about 500 pet-friendly business partners. Um, we're also having our tap and train, which is our dog training element within the app. Um, within the next, we've got a test cohort within the next month. Um, we hope that'll be live towards the end of the year. So that'll be a subscription-based product for pet parents to um, to su subscribe for a really small fee and get some really um, valuable um, pet training information. We've partnered with a big um, Sydney-based trainer. Um, and then we're also looking to launch our Discover feature on our web app uh, towards the end of the year as well, which will be really big for us. Well, and from an investor standpoint, obviously, there's the milestones include yeah. a lot of monetization, so sure, there's going to be yeah. revenue numbers coming out, so it's a good time to get involved now. Definitely, yeah. Um, will they be speaking to you if they come through to the deal room or a representative from Baxter? Yeah, definitely. We've got a big team. Um, everyone's got different strengths and whatnot, but um, yeah, anyone's happy to have a chat. Excellent. So we'll have the deal room at the side of the screen and a representative's contact information and best of luck with your venture and thank you for coming. Awesome. Thank you so much for having me. Cheers.